Okay boys and girls, this project is going to be all about ladybugs, but first we need to make our background. So with a clean piece of white paper, make sure your name's on the back, and then you're going to make a background. So you're going to draw a wavy line, then from the other side another wavy line, and then just one more wavy line. Okay, so you've divided up your sheet into four sections. Now each one of you is going to receive a plate with green and white and you're going to be doing a tint and what that means is you're going to start with the darkest colour which is the green and you're going to paint the green on the base in the first section and when you do that watch how I use my brush I'm going to go across and follow that that curved line I'm not painting up and down I'm making it follow so nice smooth brush strokes okay don't overwork the paintbrush into the paper you don't want to destroy the paper's surface now that's my first color that's with the the green straight off there now for the next section what i'm going to do i'm going to wash my brush make sure it's nice and clean and i'm going to take a little bit of white see like i've just loaded the brush and I'm going to mix it in to the green. Now this is what you're going to do boys and girls. You're not working as a team, you're working individually today so that you get this right. And what's happening here, I've added a tint, which means that I've made the green a lighter colour. Now that I've mixed that up, I've made it that I can't see any of the white swirls, it's a nice flat colour, I'm going to do the next section. Same thing, I'm going to follow that wavy line that I drew and you're going to find when it dries you're going to have a different coloured green. Okay, follow that through. Again, I'm nice, steady brush strokes. Filling it in, making sure that all that white paper is neatly covered. Now, same thing, gonna wash my brush, and then I'm gonna take another great big, I wanna make sure that I get a good change in the color. Same thing, now I'm gonna mix it up. Now I'm going to paint the third section. There you can see I've still got those white swirls. I'm going to make sure that I've got it evenly mixed. Okay. Now I've got a new green. I've added a tint. I'm going to do the next section again. Don't worry about the table. Go from the edges across. Following that line. Okay, and of course I'm going to do the same for the upper sections as well, the very last section. And again, wash my brush, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to take, basically I'm going to take all that white and mix it, okay? Then I've got a really light, light green. There we go. And I'm going to do the top part. So... And when I've got all that done, a little, now please do make sure your name is on the back before you start this. When I've got this done, I'm going to set this onto the drying rack, okay? And then I'm going to start to make my ladybugs. And there's a special technique for doing that. So I'm going to set that to the side now. Okay? Now, ladybugs, we're going to use tissue paper. And... When we've got our tissue paper, you can see here, here's one I made earlier. But I'm going to show you how we're going to make it now. I'm going to get a piece of white paper. I've already started this. Put your name on the back again. You're going to get little tissue paper squares and watered down Elmer's glue, which you can see here, and a fan brush. Now, we've done this process before, boys and girls. Just brush on a little bit of glue and then take your tissue paper and fill up the section. Don't worry about the very very edges, I'm going to show you why that's not so important with this particular project, but as long as you get close to, but I'm going to fill the paper up, okay? And if you get over the edges, that's okay, if you want to do something like that. Now, what I'm using here is bleeding tissue paper, that's why you can see the colour coming out, but we can use bleeding or regular tissue paper, that doesn't matter for this exercise and just fill in this and again when this is done 
we're going to set that onto the drying rack. Now I need you to make sure that that these tissue paper squares are nice and flat, okay? So you're going to lay the tissue paper squares on individually, one at a time. All right, now, when I've got that like that, and I'm going to set that to the side, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to make sure that you've got the whole page basically filled with red tissue paper. I'm going to set that to the side to dry as well. Next thing, when everything is dry, I'm going to go back to this here. You're going to get a cup. Just regular cup. Now you've got two circles to trace. You've got a big circle and a little circle. I'm also going to put on the table a smaller cup. So each one of you is going to get one of these little tiny cups as well. And I'll show you why in a moment. But you're going to trace around the edge. So if I get my pencil and I trace around that shape with a pencil, you will be able to see that pencil line. Okay, you can just about see it there with the camera. Don't put the cup in the centre, I want you to be economical going round the edge and get as many circles as you can. So what I would suggest you do is go to the next and trace. Don't overlap. Okay, so I've got a circle here and a circle here. I'm going to turn the cup over and I'm going to do a smaller circle. Okay, so now I know I've got three circles that size. Two this big and one this big. And I'm going to cut them out. You can do it one at a time. You can see here I've done three. One at a time. So I'm going to cut out one. And there's one circle already cut out. Just set that to the side so you can see. And then with black paper, you see how this is the same size as this? I need to, with black paper, do exactly the same. Trace the same size, trace around that cup with a pencil, and then cut that shape out. And this is where the magic starts to come in. Okay, so I'm going to cut that shape out. Now, if I do this and this, you can't see the black, but if I take my my red circle, and what you can do is, if you th imagine where the centre is, and then you draw a line out and a line out like that, so you've got, I don't know if you can see that boys and girls, but I've made a V, and with that V, I clip it out, and then when I put that underneath, I've now started to create the body of a ladybug. Now with the smaller cup, and I'll give you lots of black paper, don't worry boys and girls, that you can make enough bodies and heads. Now with the smaller cup, I'm just gonna go round. You can do either edge, this one or this one. And I'm gonna cut out a smaller circle. And you'll see why in a moment. smaller circle, like so. And when I do this, I've got the black base, the circle with the triangle cut out, and I do that with a smaller circle, and I put it underneath, so you can see it's a bit like a snowman, a black snowman really. I've got myself the basis of a ladybug. Now, if I get my background back again, you'll be able to see now what we're going to do. So I've got my ladybug, there's my background. You can see the variations in the tint. So it came from the green. I made an extra white, extra white, extra white. So the shade of the green changed. And when you add white, it's a tint. When you add black, it's a shade. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to start laying out my ladybugs. And I cut out a couple of other ones earlier. So you can see my ladybugs. And I've got a little one there and a bigger one Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change it around. I still need to make some heads for those two. But when I'm satisfied with where they are, I'm going to get a little sponge on a stick. You see the circle? And a little bit of black paint. And just going to do one dot and one dot. Now, I haven't glued mine down. You boys and girls will have yours glued down. And again, one dot, one dot, 
one dot, one dot. And I'll actually turn this round and I'll do it with the wooden end. I'll do a smaller dot and a smaller dot there and I'll make sure that I've got the heads cut out for that. And then the last thing is we need the legs. Okay, so how many legs does a, a ladybug or an insect have, boys and girls? That's right, there are six. And we put one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. And you'll do that with all of them. You'll add in the six legs, three on either side. Okay, a little antennas. And there you go, boys and girls. I'll just finish this one off so you can see that it's all done at the very end. So remember, you've got to make sure your name is on the back of your projects. You're going to do a background and then you're going to do tissue paper where you're layering it with watered down glue and when that's dry you're going to cut out the circles same size black and red so they match cut out the triangles so that you can see the background coming through and then you're going to do the dots and then add on the six legs and there you go boys and girls there's your ladybug project let's go and make some art <laughs>